Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> yeah. it, it does prick, doesn't it? See that cast iron fire bin over there? The wind blew it over this morning. It's horrible outside. We had a visiting lecture today. It's Thursday, but it's not on. We've just been emailed. But however, I'm going to go into university anyway to work on some prints, and you're coming as well, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to the library. I want to do lots more in the dark room with the same stuff that I've been doing with those coloured drips on that white dark room paper. Newport's been issued a severe weather warning at the moment. Look at the state of it. Bloody bins all over the road over there, see? They're not mine, but do you think I should go and pick them up for them? Bloody goody two shoes, aren't I? I'm going to lie them on the side because they're only going to drop over again. Gemma's helping too, look. Lie them on the side, yeah. Shall we tip ours on the side? Not nice out there. I bet you any money she's still in bed. Hey Beverly, it's blowing a gale out there. All the bins all up and down the road have fallen over and stuff. And I'm going to go to university now and leave you here, alright? Mm -hmm. It's wrong, isn't it? Today, Beverly's meant to be in university, but she's staying in bed. And I'm not meant to be in university, but I'm going to university. You are a naughty girl. Why are you naughty? <laughs> truth be told, it's because she forgot. And double truth be told, it's because Matt White's doing the workshop and she doesn't like Matt White very much. Agree or disagree? Agree. Are you ready, Gemma? Look at her hair blowing out all over the place. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not so windy when you're in the car, is it? So I do love it when it's windy though. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, we usually have a visiting lecture on Thursdays, but not today. I think it's been cancelled because of the weather. It's a shame as well because it was going to be a good one, wasn't it? Gory or something yeah. like that. One of the lecturers even sent out an email giving us a disclaimer how bad it would be. Oh. And on a slight side note, Gemma and I both got a text this morning asking if we give blood. It's really creepy. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. First thing I read this morning was, come to university to give blood. But once over the initial shock, I decided I would anyway. You know what I think is coming past me on a loader bike? It's Jack! <laughs> Look at Jack learning how to ride a bike. That's so funny. <laughs> go on, Jack. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Good luck, Jack. He used to live in Opal with us. He's one of Tom's friends. He's been in a few of the videos. I would have gone beep beep and said hello or something, but he was obviously on a lesson learning. There was three of them. Don't want him having an accident, do we? Do you know I've got a motorbike license? Full one as well. 500cc and up. Beverly won't let me get one because I've crashed four times already and I'll kill myself next time. I've actually got scars all over my body, mostly on my elbows and legs from motorbike crashes. I came off at 60 once on a main road and rolled past a bus stop full of kids. But they did think it was pretty awesome that I just got up and walked back to my house. My mother always said it's the worst thing that can ever happen to me because I'll think I'm God. Ding! Correct. Where are we going to park today? I've blabbered on quite a bit this morning. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realise I was talking so much. Gemma just said, Sam, will you shut up? The weather's just as bad up at Cleon as well. I'm just going to show you something that I noticed on my videos. When I walk through this door, the sound goes all funny. Can you hear that? Really weird, isn't it? Some kind of strange electric transmission, I don't know. Blood. I'm here on my own. Cornwell. C-O-R-N-W-E-L-L. -L. I'm going to come back at 2 o'clock. They've got a waiting list. Gives me an hour to get set up in the dark rooms downstairs. Looks like I'm going to be the only person in today. And the machine's all running jolly good. This is weird, the light's on in here. I can't do any printing when the light's on. And it's pretty cool, the amount of time I've been in there, I've never seen it. Is that what it is? There we go. Why was it on? Because nobody was in there and I've been on my own all this morning. It's terrible, so, all that equipment and no one uses it. Well, it'll get hotter, don't worry. It's just, it's, that's the way it goes at the same time. Okay, thanks Dennis. Okay. Ah, oh, Dennis is the best. You should always come and meet Dennis. Everyone loves him. Meet him on his lunch break especially. Just go and say hello, chat to him. I think I'm in the right bay. If I close the door, there should be lights. Ah. I need to remind myself what the bloody hell I'm doing with these papers. Look at this stuff I've got to sort through every time I want to do this. Hopefully soon though, I'll be able to start working on this, which is the nice clean stuff in the box. Also just realised I forgot to mention where Gemma went. Gemma went off to the library and left me to go get my blood done, which I couldn't get done, so I've come down here. She'll meet me down here later, I should think. And look who's just walked through the door. Good timing. With Red Bull and a boost. <gasps> We're not allowed to eat in the dark rooms. We have to wait until you're outside then. This machine's slightly faulty, Gem. The dials aren't working properly and I had a load of yellow filtration coming through on the first exposure. But look what it did. It sent everything purple. 
I did it correctly on the next one. Oh, it's slightly nicer, more colours in it, that's nicer. See the difference now, yellow filtration bulb is off, I get lots of yellows in the actual picture and the reds look redder. What the hell is this? You're working? Ah, you're doing the picture of me and Bev that you took the other day on the large format camera? Yeah. Quarter of an hour then I'll go get my blood done. You getting yours done? Is it because you're anemic? <laughs> it's because her blood's not red, it's black. Everyone knows you're the unpurest of the unpure. Do you mind manning my bay while I'm off upstairs to do the blood thing? Yes, I do mind, but I'll do it anyway. Thank you. I'm going to leave it all there like that. Don't move it. Lights out, please. <laughs> Give him blood. This is going to be fun. My third or fourth time. There's nothing like a good bloodletting. You got me down for two o'clock for a good bloodletting. <laughs> Sam. Loads of people in here. Apparently they've got a bit of a shortage of blood. <laughs> 13th for the 9th, 1980. Okay, while you were there, and the 28 days in the tomb, were you fitting well, the flu-like symptoms, or no. anything like that? 13th for the 9th, 1980. You get your right index finger then. It's going to hurt. Sorry? Is it going to hurt? Sorry? Is it going to hurt? No, I've just got a cough gas, okay? Yeah. There we go. How much blood are you taking? Just over three quarters of a pint. Oh, say. cool. Sam Cornwell, 13th for the 9th, 1980, 14 East Stock Road. Oh, right. Yeah. Ow. You okay? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> yeah. It does prick, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Shelley. Thanks, very much. Thanks. How long does it take usually? Well, 15 minutes is the longest. The average is sort of six, seven-ish, eight minutes. I think of it as no, blood. <laughs> Have you had lots of people here today? Yeah, it's been really busy, yeah. Can I see my blood? Um, you can see the samples, I'll have to show the rest because it's in robots now. Oh, is it? It's yeah, not in a bag? Yeah, we used to pick it up and yeah. do that ourselves. Well, it's all done automatically now. Oh, right. uh, so that red stuff in there, that's my blood dripping out of me. <gasps> have I nearly filled up the bag yet? <laughs> not far off, three quarters. Good. Yeah. How fast is it again? That's a quick one, yeah? <laughs> World record. No problem, I've got 10 minutes to wait here, then I'm going to go back down to the dark room. All done, I can feel good for the rest of the day now and show off my bandage like it's some sort of war medal. The lady said it was the fastest one she had today, so I have pretty smooth blood. 4 minutes 34 seconds to take nearly a pint. And ironically, it feels like I've got loads of energy now, I'm running down the stairs. Or maybe the Red Bull I just had has had more of an effect on me because there's less blood. Gemma, she's still in here. I wonder how many prints she's got done. Hello! It's pitch black in here. Where are you stood? Hello! <laughs> I've given my blood and we can expect Superman's going to be born in the next few days now. How have you been getting on? Ah, oh, that's a lovely photo of me and Beverly. Can we have that later? Yeah. We just had another one come out. Can we see it? That is bleeding perfect, lovely. You've got you in the reflection there, look. The quality of that picture is sublime. And up here on the corners, it's caught the light perfectly. I love lunch format. Imagine if she went to town with it and did something proper. Another one. Oh, this is getting tiring in here, but fun. I think I've got a methodology that I can keep on using and stick to. These are the tests that I've done today. I'm constantly producing images like this now on these settings. The Devere Larger Magenta Filtration Set to 90, 63.5 centimetres high, uh, box in the middle, cone shaped, and 50 seconds exactly. And how can I forget the aperture on F32? And I've even recorded how much of this bump have gone into it as well. Seven to ten strips seems to be perfect. It does seem kind of strange, doesn't it? I've taken a photo of seven different people there in a weird way of taking photos, and that's their portraits, is it? Uh, is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know, maybe it is. It's so odd how so different they can be on exactly the same settings. I just love that. Gemma really likes this one because I've managed to get some detail in it, see? You know what, honestly, I think the next step forward from here is larger prints. Do it really big paper codes. This is the latest one and probably the last one I'm going to do. I expose this one with my mobile phone light. <laughs> Gemma, I think we should go home. It's getting quite late and Bev's probably wondering where I am. It's going to be quite dark outside. She's going to be wondering where I am because I've got no reception down here. Absolutely none at all. You've seen it a hundred times before in a hundred different ways, but I'm finished now. I'm going to go home. And you, you all right? Yep. 
Gemma printed out Beverly's latest large format one. It's been fogged on the side though, unfortunately. That's on the negative, isn't it? Yeah. Have you got everything? Lights off then, please. Open the door. Ah! Beverly, next time I want you to come with me. Go into the light. Go into the light. <sighs> what a day off. My days off are never days off. It's going to be dark outside for sure at five o'clock. Actually, it's ten to five now. There's a little bit of light left. Squeaky noise. Basie, why are you in a suit? I'm interviewing for new uh, events manager. You're interviewing? Yeah, I agree Oh, but you're going to keep your job? Yes. Yeah, oh, it's bloody windy. That was nice to see Basie. Can you even... Ah! Aya, can you stop the wind, please? Stop the wind. That's right, yeah. Yeah, OK. Darkness descends on another Sam Cornwell vlog. You know, looking out this window, looks like those prints I was doing. Seven hours after leaving home, it's dark and it's windy. I'll be home. All the lights are out. Is Beverly still in bed? She can't be. Ah! It's blowing a ruddy gown out there. Hello, Beverly. How are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. Do your teeth still hurt? Oh dear. I got you some nimble bread from the supermarket. I'm just showing Beverly the stuff I've been pissing around with in the dark room. I think she likes it. What do you think then, Beverly? And what the hell have you done here? This looks fantastic set up like that. That's really nice. I think they're beautiful. Can I have them? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really think you're onto something there, Beverly. That's quite nice. Rather than laying them out like this, laying them out like this. Unconventional. There is something so bloody mesmerising about it. I've started to enjoy it now, I think. I really like this project and I hated it in the first place. Do you girls remember what I was being like two months ago? <laughs> I can't wait to get back in the dark room again tomorrow. And to achieve some sort of project where I can display it, I might need to put it into computers and start scanning them. But that's for another time. Is it time for house? Yeah, we can watch some house if you like. <sighs> Well, it's been a good day. I think I'll finish it there because it's blowing a gale outside. I'm going to sit in front of the television, have a pizza and chill out and think about these coloured things. If you've got any ideas or comments that you want to say on my work, just let me know. Let me know underneath. You might jog my memory or get me thinking along a different line. And I mean absolutely anything. If you think it's rubbish and I should give up, say that. If you think it's really good, carry on. If you've got ideas in your head of how I could display it, let me know. But meanwhile, it's day... 310? 11, you prat. Of 365, my name's Sam Cornwell. I'm wearing a blue vest top, which makes me look like a fat wife beater, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye! Beverly and I just cleared up the table and set the pictures up like this. It's literally made my dick go limp. So come on, comment below, tell me what you think.